What do you know? School bus number two. All right, this one that came out through here is a 16. It's uh, one of those Chevy cutaway school buses. And uh, anyhow, they got called out of here because they've been trying to figure out this truck for a while now. They keep on popping what they consider to be a brake light fuse, which in this case down here, you'll see I have the Pulsar hooked up on there. It's actually fuse number nine. And if you look at fuse number nine over here, it's going to say BCM4. All right, they do not have an actual stoplight fuse. The other stuff there, you'll see we're able to just stop. If you look at it there, it says turn trailer. That's all trailer stuff. Um, as of right now, I have it hooked up on there. I only put it at a 5 amp limit simply because it doesn't really go very much higher than that. Um, if I, let's see, let's see, see if we can use the reflection off of that car over there if I step on this brake. I don't know if my legs are long enough to reach, but yep, yeah, you can see the lights going on and off. Yes, they're working. All right, good. <laughs> so that's what we had now I thought it right away aftermarket stuff out there I was thinking that's what we were gonna find however what I did end up finding here is what I believe to be what I would consider a factory defect um, over here where this harness is there's a small bracket up here right here by the brake light switch you can see where it's slightly rubbed through but that's only one that's only one possible place that it can do it the other spot might be a little bit difficult to get you guys in there, but I'll try. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, probably not with this thing in the way, but that harness. Let's see if I can get that light. Okay. Now, if you look closely there, you're going to see that there's a parking brake release cable that actually comes down there and rubs right up against that harness as well. And it's right there. So there's not really many ways that you can maneuver this thing. From where it is in the factory they just have this in a horrible horrible spot so this is going to be a matter of figuring out how to uh reroute this some way where this isn't going to happen again but my guess is this is going to be the same on the express vans and everything else so if you guys run into this something to look for right up over here in this area or over here by the parking brake cable all right just thought i'd bring that to your attention